hello what's up guys i hope that you are doing well welcome back to the video in this video i'm going to show you how you can migrate your website using duplicator plugin you can use this plugin to migrate your website from one hosting account to another hosting account or you can use this plugin to create the staging website and this plugin serve for a lot many purposes you can view more details about this plugin on their official website so if you are excited to learn about this let's get started so the first thing that you need to do is to go to your plugins section and from here you will click on this add new button and from here you will once again click for duplicator once you will type duplicator in this search a search bar this option will appear you will need to install this plugin once you will install this plugin after that you will hit activate once the plugin will get activated the next thing that you need to do is to hover over this duplicator and then you will click on this packages once you will click on this packages click on this create new button once you will click on this create new here it will ask for the name of this file you can write any of the name you want I'll keep the one they have here I'll simply copy this name and I'll paste the name in here then next we have these storage options keep them as they are next you have these archive options from here you can archive only the database or enable the file filters or enable the file filter to filter out the files that you want from here I'll choose this cache because I don't want the cache folder to be included in the archive once that is done the next thing you will click on this installer and here you will click on this enable password protection in here you can write any password for this tutorial I'll write a simple password and once the password is created I'll click on this next button once you will click on this next button duplicator plugin will start scanning your website this may take some time depending upon the resources you have on your hosting account now you can see all the things status are marked good except of this size checks because I'm using some large size images on the website this website is just for dummy purposes so from there you will click on this yes continue with build process and then you will hit this build button once you will hit this build button this will start building the package for you you'll have to wait and again this may take some time depending upon the resources you have available on your hosting account number of apps that you are using on your hosting account and number of files you have on your wordpress installation so we'll just wait for it to build the package for us once the package will build we'll then move to the next phase of this video which will be migrating the website to another host now you can see that the file is built now what you can do is to first of all click on this installer so that installer will get downloaded and then you'll click on this archive once you'll click on this archive this archive will start downloading so we'll wait until this file or archive file will get downloaded meanwhile what we need is to copy the installer name to the clipboard you can also view the installer name which is installer.php we are going to use this I'll copy this and I'll paste the name here and I'll label it as installer name semicolon once that is done we'll wait the, for the file to get downloaded this is almost downloaded so once the file is downloaded the next thing that you need to do is to go to your cpanel account this cpanel layout will depend upon the uh, type of 
hosting account you are using a lot a lot many hosting uh, providers nowadays are using cpanel so you should have cpanel in your hosting account in here you will locate this file manager just click on this file manager from here i want to migrate my website to this domain which is webdev.webberpro.com and here you can see we already have all the files available here what i can do is to select all of them select all of them then i'll delete them just because this is a fresh installation you can see if i refresh this you can see that we have a fresh installation so these are dummy files only so i will remove these files once they will get removed i click on this upload button once we will click on this upload button next thing you need to do is to first of all upload this installer and after that we need to upload that file archive archive file that we have downloaded so once again we will wait for this archive file to get uploaded meanwhile what we can do is to go back to our cpanel and from here you will go to this database and from here you will click on this my sql database it will start getting loaded from here you will need to add a new database for this particular example we'll use this database i'll copy the name of this database and then when you write this name click on this create button once you will click on this create database the database will get created the next thing that we need to do is to add a new user to this database for the user we can add the name of the website which can be ga paint paints or painting or whatever you want i'm using this one then you will have to add a new password for the user for the database so we'll click on this password generator this will generate a password for us i'll copy the password and i'll add this password into my notepad file that i am creating once that is done check mark this and click on use password and then click on this create user now the user is created we already have created the database and we have created a new user now the next step is to add the user to the database so our database is ga painting you can confirm it from here you can see this is the same and then for the user we have created this user paints yep and then you will click on this add button from here we'll give it all the privileges and we'll click on this make changes and then we'll hit go back once we'll click on go back from here you'll be able to look at look at it and now you can see that we have created the database and connected the database with the user so once that is created now you can see here we have our file uploaded in the file manager right here now what we need to do is to go back to the website and if i refresh the website now you can see that the wordpress installation is no longer accessible so in order to access that what you need to do is to copy this and paste this installer name right next to your domain name where you want to migrate your website oops i made a mistake so I'll, I'll in order to show you in a better way i'll copy the url 
and I'll paste the URL here. Now you can see this is the domain where I am migrating this database. After that, I'll have to add one forward slash and this is the installer name the same installer name so i'll once again copy this url and i will paste this url in here and i'll hit enter once you'll hit enter this will ask for the password now you may remember we have put a password which was this one and then we'll hit this submit button once you'll click on this submit button this window will appear here you can see the overview the site name is this one the url is this one we are from where we are migrating this website and here you have all the options available you don't need to check mark any of these simply click on this i have read i have read and accept all terms and policies and click next once you'll click next this will start extracting archive files for you once again this may take some time but once that is created now here you can see that this is asking for our database username uh, sorry database name and you can find the database name from here this is the database name yes so this is the database name we'll copy this database and we'll paste it here and then we need to add the user username which was this one we'll copy the username and we'll paste it here or we can copy this username from here i'll paste it here and then we need the password for the database we'll copy this and we'll paste this there once that is done click on this test database and this will test now you can see this says fail because this cannot identify the user that we have so instead we'll try this name and we'll paste it here and once again we'll hit test and still it's saying that we are not passing the test this could be because we might have connected the wrong user the wrong user with this one oh I think we already have created this user so i'll delete this I will sorry we will copy this database and then we will paste the name here and then we'll copy this user and we'll paste this user here now it should work We'll once again copy this password and we'll paste this password and click on this test database. And now you can see the status is passed and good. Once you will see these green buttons, click on this next button. Once you will hit next button, this will appear. Simply click OK and then it will start installing the database now it is asking for you to update the database here is the url of the website where you want to migrate your website this is the same website you can confirm it from here once that is done if you want to replace anything you can do from here but that requires the pro version of duplicator plugin and if you want to add a new admin account in this you can also do that i do not want to add a new admin account in here i'll simply click on this next button once you will click on this next button this will start processing database and this will migrate your website once this appears this means that you have, you have successfully migrated your website simply click on this admin login and once you will click on this admin login this login window will appear 
these informations are already saved in my browser so I'll simply click on this login button once you will click on this login button you can see that WordPress dashboard is loading on our new domain and this will automatically clean all the things from duplicator plugin that they use to migrate the website to this new host once that is done you can check the front end of your website by simply clicking on view site now if we go to the front end of our website you can see this is the website that we have migrated and here is the old website so i hope you have liked this video if you like this video consider subscribing to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon so that you will always get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching this video I'll see you in the next one. Bye.